All right, so the idea of this video is just a quick one, just to show how you would go about upgrading the operating system in an Akai S700 sampler. So the first thing to do is to take the case off, so I'll do that now. Now there is inside the sampler. The operating system is stored in this chip here. This is the CPU board. And the operating system is stored on this chip. So I could probably lift it up without removing this connector, but I think it would be a good idea because these cables are quite tight. So I don't want to damage them. I'll just move that to the side. That will give me access. So when you're removing EEPROMs, um, <coughs> it's good to be careful not to bend the legs. So I try and attack from both sides. So I'm inserting this flat screwdriver in between the socket and the EEPROM and I just give it a little twist it comes up a bit and I go around the other side and I do the same in this case we have this cable in the way so I'm going to use a longer screwdriver on this side and then when I go back to the other side, it should just come out. I try not to touch the pins. Just put that to one side here for now. And I'll get the replacement EEPROM. Now, there's a number of people selling the upgraded operating system on, on eBay. So you can probably take your pick with the sellers. So I'm upgrading to version 1.6 of the firmware. And the difference that that will make is that, firstly, it fixes a bug in the MIDI sample transfer, which I'm very interested in sorting out. And secondly, it adds a crossfade looping feature, which could be quite cool to play around with as well. Now, this is quite common when you get an, a chip and you're trying to insert it. Generally the legs are spread a bit wider than the socket so you can squeeze it on a metal surface together just very carefully on the edge. Just bend them in a little bit and on the other side too. Let's see if that will fit. better it needs a little bit more. Right, that will go in now. Make sure that the indentation on the top of the chip is the other side from the power supply and the quick disc. So it will be inserted in the same way as the old ROM. I'll just press down uniformly and it's gone straight in. I'm going to keep the old operating system in case there's a problem. Now the next thing is to put back this connector which we removed. And then we can put the case back on. There we go, job done.